Mr. Hunt wants a hat. Sorry, Mr. Bat wants a hat. Okay, let's do this. Ready? Do mischief and sparkles and all the brightness you bring, KB. Oh, to Massimo LW. <laughs> okay, let's do this, guys. Mr. Bat wants a hat. Mr. Bat was a happy bat. He spent his days doing his favorite things. Oh, Mr. Bat. Swooping, flapping furiously, and meeting interesting insects. But not for long. Yes! He was content until one twinkling twilight when he flew above the park. What is this? cried Mr. Bat. His eyes buckled and his heart boomed. Hats! He whispered. I never knew what was missing from my life, cried Mr. Bat. I need decoration. I need accessories. I want a hat. <sighs> he bounced up his batty legs and whoop! cried Mr. Bat. How dare you attack an almost endangered species? A bat! It's Mr. Bat, actually, said Mr. Bat, and I'm not leaving! <laughs> they are pretty annoyed. Shh! Shh! Okay. Now I'm leaving. Mr. Bat was not having a nice time. Oh, all I want is my own hat. He sobbed. They were so unkind to him. Something caught his eye. It had a yellow band with pink roses and shining beads and all covered in. Mr. Bat could hardly stand it. Glitter! This be his day hat. <laughs> he checked for umbrellas. His eyes narrowed. <clears throat> his wings arced and swoop. Success on a happy day. Oh, joyous occasion. He did it. Someone's watching, but he did it. Oh, sad babies, he likes hats too, said small part of Mr. Bat. Too bad, said the rest of him, dancing in his brand new hat. Nah. <laughs> he poked out his batty tongue and swing his batty butt. The baby cried. <laughs> and the best dressed baby. Award goes to Mr. Bat, said Mr. Bat. Oh, thank you, Mr. Bat bowed to his adoring audience. What an honor it is for you to admire me and my lovely hat. That's his acceptance speech for a best hat winner. The baby cried louder. cried Mr. Bat, for he's a jolly good bat, for he's a jolly good bat, but no one's singing, <laughs> because baby's crying very, very louder. Mr. Bat shied, his 
stepped out of the conga line and cancelled the party. One final gentle swoop. I like hats too, he whispered. Mr. Bat. But this one belongs to you. <gasps> A gift? For me? said Mr. Bat. Oh, I couldn't. But he did. <laughs> Hats are so last season anyway, said Mr. Bat. And look at his shiny new socks. <laughs> and off flew the winner of the best dressed bat award with a song floating on the bridge. For he's a jolly good bat, for he's a jolly good bat, for he's a jolly good <gasps> What are those? <laughs> Oh my! <laughs> I think that's what he's thinking. Look at this bolty, bolty skates figure! I want one of those! <laughs> and that's another adventure from Mr. Bat. <laughs> Mr. Bat wants a hat. <laughs> Oh dear, what a carval you've cost, Mr. Bat. That's right, but all he wanted was that glittery hat. That was not that bad. But guess what? Mr. Hat is very kind as well. He gave something that doesn't belong to him. And guess what? He found, well, he was given a present. And that present was very fancy. Fancy little polka dot socks. <laughs> Just love the look on his face. That's right. I want one of those. <laughs> what a lovely story. 